This episode of See Tally Run is brought to you by Grandma's Marathon, the Mankato Marathon, and MTech Results. <laughs> Olympian Carrie Tullifson, and today I'm interviewing Canadian Olympian Nicole Sifuentes. So let's get after it. You guys have a big summer with the Commonwealth Games. The Americans don't have a championship summer. You guys do. So how did? Why is the? Why are you running the roads right now when you need to get times for the track and you need to you know get your placing there for the the hopeful spot on the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, I mean obviously I can't get my standard at this race tonight, but. Um, at the same time, it's good to keep things fun and mix it up. And when you're chasing standards, that can be stressful. So, um, you know, I'm happy to be here. And also, it's just an another opportunity to race and get in a racing rhythm and kind of sharpen up. And the competition's really good. So I know that this will help me um, as I go into Oxy next week and run the 1500 and try to get my standard there. So we have Katie McGregor here in our home state. I mean, I know that you've trained with her and talk about that because a lot of the people want to know about training partners and what keeps you guys going and on your toes. I loved training with her and um, we are coming from like very different, you know, backgrounds and she's so strength oriented, but I would just kind of hang on as long as I could hang on for the workouts and she kicked my butt. But really, like it helped me break through in the strength stuff, in um, in just like tempos and like long hills. But the best thing was her attitude. Like I just love. I mean, never complained. Always the attitude of just get after it and like encouraging, but like not coddling. You know, just she's. I just love training with her. Those are very, very good memories. Well, you're a 2012 Olympian. Obviously, we want to see you back there in 2016. You are a Big Ten girl, even though. You are wearing the blazing blue and yellow rather than the maroon and gold, or you were. So talk about, you like coming here, obviously, to, to race. I mean, you wanted to kick all the gophers' butts when you were in college and now getting ready to race again. What does it feel like to come back to the state of Minnesota and, you know, have a different jersey on, but does it bring back memories of Big Ten championships? Yeah, I guess a little bit. Um, I remember definitely racing against Heather Camp Dornadin at the time. Um, in the Michigan uniform and a Big Tens, like, you know, I, my coach and I planned strategies specif specifically based around beating her because she had such a crazy kick and like I had to run races differently than I otherwise would have because I didn't want her to beat me at the end. So yeah, it's definitely, we've been racing each other for years um, and I like racing her, but I also just like really like her as a person. She's really nice. Um, so unless we're like in a race, I think she's a nice person, good friend, sure. but um, yeah, in the race, I definitely always want to beat her every time, certainly, yeah. Well, you know, they compare us Minnesotans to Canadians a lot, so, you know, we have that going for us. Every C. Tally Run interview I do with an elite athlete, I do some crazy questions, so are you game for me to ask a little bit? And yeah. we want to get to know you a little bit more of a person as just a rock star runner, so. Okay, sure. okay here we go. White wine or red wine? White wine. USA or Canada? Kind of obvious. I'm Canadian, so always Canada. Except if my husband's in something, because he's American, so I would cheer for him. But that's the only exception. <laughs> okay, 1,500 meters of the mile. Definitely 1,500. Intervals or tempo? Intervals. I think Katie's told me before, you don't love the tempo. No, I, I used to hate it a lot more, but she really helped me get better at it. Sure. But still, it's, it's still, yeah, I'd rather do intervals. Okay, this is one for Katie. Do you call her Katie or McGregor? I definitely call her McGregor, okay. yeah. Go blue or blazing blue? Never even heard of blazing blue. Definitely go blue. You know I'm from Minnesota, yeah. sorry. No, it's the real U of M here. Fruits or veggies? Fruit. Okay. Movie night or dancing? Oh, I, I'm pretty tired from working out all the time, so I have to say movie night, but if I, I mean, if I wasn't an athlete, I'd probably prefer dancing. So pop hits or country? Oh, pop. I hate country. Okay. M&Ms or Smarties? What kind of Smarties are we discussing? I don't know. Because Canadian Smarties are way different than American Smarties. So I like Canadian Smarties better than M&Ms, but U.S. Smarties are what we call rockets, and they're not even chocolate. So. Learning all kinds of things here. 
Um, I have potato chips or ketchup chips. Ketchup chips are potato chips, just flavored. <laughs> See? And I don't like them. So. I didn't either, sorry. Like Hills or 200? 200s. Spikes or flat? Spikes. Okay, so flats or wedges? Oh, I see where. <laughs> um, I, I'd say wedges. Ah, all right. Well, thanks so much, Nicole, and we wish you all the best throughout the rest of the season and at Commonwealth, and then in 2016. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for my interview with Nicole. Get after it.